Hello there, greetings in the name of the Lord. This is Sule Emmanuel. Welcome to Jesus Every Day, light for your daily path. Our topic today is, it is not over. This is part one, and our Bible reference is taken from God's word in John chapter 20, verse 16. Friends, one of the assurances that every child of God should have is that no one has the authority to conclude on what God has not concluded. It doesn't matter how the situation looks. If God has not said it is over, then it is not over. If God hasn't come to a conclusion about us, no one else can. When Jesus was crucified, it looked like it was over for him. Those who thought they were behind everything must have been overjoyed. They must have assumed that they had ended everything that Jesus represented. Little did they know that everything was working according to God's plan. Maybe you're going through a challenging season right now with so many questions in your heart and you feel like there is no hope or there is no help. The Lord wants me to reassure you today that your situation is not as bad as it appears. Why you feel you are out of control, God is in control of everything. What looks like a long, bad night will birth a major miracle in your life in the name of Jesus. Friends, the enemy always gives the impression that it is over. He wants to make you afraid so you will say and do things out of short-sightedness, which will go against what the Lord is perfecting in your life. Refuse to give up. It is not over. God will make a way. You will reap the reward of persistence if you do not give up. In our text of today, we are reminded that Mary persisted at the tomb and her persistence was not in vain. She saw Jesus. As you stay in faith with your eyes on the Lord, regardless of how things may look, you will see Jesus showing up in that situation. The Lord will show up for you and you will have an amazing testimony to share in the name of Jesus Christ. It is not over. This is God's word to you today. I'd like you to ponder on this, meditate on this. It's a word in season. It's a word for what you're going through and it's a word to position you for what God is doing this season. And I'd like you to pay close attention to the wisdom push of today. Today's declaration and our daily Bible reading the day meditation and the night meditation. And if this devotional, particularly the episode of today, was a blessing to you and the previous episodes have been a blessing to you, please talk to someone about this devotional. Spread the good news of these amazing devotionals. May God bless you richly. Have a great day, Father.